Today we are in Ueno Station. Oh my goodness, it's super crowded. Today, February 10th, it's Sunday. Because of the weekend, there are so many people in Ueno Station. From yesterday, there is a big holiday. Chinese New Year holiday has started in China, so there are so many travelers from China too. In Japan, we celebrate the Western New Year, which is January 1st, but there is an event Chinese New Year in Ueno Park. There are so many Chinese spicy food, and also Ueno Ameyoko Street is really popular for Chinese travelers as well. So today, we are checking there and also showing the atmosphere of Ueno Town. So hopefully you enjoy virtual traveling to Japan through this video. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno Gao. All right, so let's keep walking. Let's go. This is the JR Ueno Central exit. If you are using the JR, most of the people probably arriving here. There are so many people in front of the ticket machines, but I assume most of them are travelers because nowadays train IC card is really popular in Japan. If you register and charge to the train IC card, you can use it pretty much everywhere at the vending machine, even in Konbini too. So before coming over to Japan, make sure to get one on the internet. Train IC card is really useful and also in Japan, under 1000 Japanese yen, all of them are coins. So if you don't use them, you will end up having a lot of coins in Japan. Probably you don't want to carry many coins in the pocket, so it's better to have the train IC card. <laughs> Since Valentine's Day is coming, the chocolate is having collab with Panda. Oh my goodness, look at that Panda chocolate. It looks so cute. It is a popular chocolate in Japan. There's chocolate and it's Panda's. <laughs> Tokyo exclusive one. Interesting. I usually don't see the line in front of Hard Rock Cafe, but there is a line. All right, so let's keep walking. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful day. Skies, it's so blue. Today, it's 11 degrees. Thinking it's February? Really warm. Oh, look at that. New Tamagotchi is coming. I used to play Tamagotchi when I was a kid, but now it became colors. It's like a Pokemon, huh? Long history. Before checking the Ueno Park, let's go to the Ameyoko Street. Oh, interesting. This Komeyori Panda used to be a bakery, but now it became a souvenir shop. Yeah, probably they realized that's much easier to make money. So let's go to the Ameyoko Street. This is the entrance. Oh my goodness, there are just so many people. That's like the New Year, huh? Yeah, well for Chinese people, it is the New Year Day, so no wonder. I was here on the New Year Day, which is January 1st, in 2024. I have made a video. How do you guys think? Compared to that video, you feel like it is more crowded or it's like same. Well, I feel like it is more crowded though because it's very woke. <laughs> Seems like candy shop. It is really popular. 1000 Japanese yen? You can have so many candies and chocolate. Sweet, finally we get here. It took a while to come over here because so many people. Wow because there are so many people. I feel like walking in the different street. If you want to eat here, I am wondering how long you have to wait. Definitely, it's not a good option to eat here because it's super crowded. It looks pretty fun to eat here though. Maybe because of the Chinese New Year and also Today is the center day of the three continuous holidays. So that could be the reason too. Since it is super crowded, I don't want to walk in the Ameyoko street anymore. How about the Uechung street? So now we are at Uechung street, which is the next street of Ameyoko street. 
people. Yeah, compared to Amiyako Street, still fewer people. But uh, usually this street, much fewer people compared to Amiyako Street. So I feel like it is super crowded. Since this Amiyako Street is this much crowded, probably the Ueno Park's Chinese New Year Festival place it's super crowded too. Hopefully we can find the things to eat too though. Well, I don't want to be in line that long. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's not that crowded. Anyways, let's keep walking and let's go check. If you keep straight about 10 minutes, you will arrive to the Akihabara stations. <laughs> and Ueno Park is just over there. Recently, there are much fewer travelers in Japan. Last week, when I visited the Shibuya festival, there were much fewer people than what I thought, so I kind of worried. However, after checking this Amiyako street atmosphere, <laughs> now I realize that I don't have to worry that much. So that's the entrance of Ueno Park. <laughs> yeah. Those trees are all sakura trees. Well, right now, it looks a little bit sad, but after one or two months from now, it becomes beautiful sakura trees. I really look forward to the spring. But I have the hay fever, which is a pollen allergy. In spring, there will be so much kafun, which is the pollen. So <laughs> I'm really afraid of it too. So beforehand, I need to go to see the doctor and I need to get the medicine. Here, small Japanese lesson. Pollen in Japanese is kafun, kafun. For the event, this is the closest way, but uh, still we have time. Let's walk in the park. By the way, if you are directly coming to the Ueno Park from Ueno Station, that's the JR Ueno Station and that's the entrance of Ameyoko Street. You can just directly getting out from there and walk toward to the Ueno Park. Let's keep walking. Feels pretty good walking in the great weather. Actually, it is a little bit cold though. I prefer the warmer weather. Ah, oh, there's a street oh. performer. Oh. Good job. <laughs> this tree and also this tree too. All sakura trees. Ueno Park is really popular spot for the hanami, which is watching the sakura. There are so many people visiting here during the spring season. Yeah, this place will be super crowded. And here we go. This is one of the best view spot in Ueno. There is an interesting shaped pine tree and we can look down this tree. There, there are many food stalls. Seems like it is crowded over there too. Huh? This is the main shrine, but I can't film it inside it. Most of the temple's main building cannot film it for the respect. So just remember, you can't neither take photo. Okay, let's go back to the main street. By the way, those are the old fortune telling omikuji, omikuji. If you get the good luck, you take it home, and if you had the bad luck, leave it here. So all of them are the bad lucks. Since I'm a Christian, I didn't do that omikuji, neither I didn't believe it. So whenever I see that paper, I was wondering what kind of stuff it is. But yeah, that's how it works. If you are wondering the same thing, that's how it works too. Interesting, right? We are walking in the main street now. If we keep straight, we will arrive to the square and also the entrance of Uenozu. Ah, oh, what is that? It seems like so many people. Oh. 
Wow, good job! There are always street performers in Ueno Park and it's always fun to visit here, especially on the weekend. Also in Ueno Park, we have a small version of Senbondori, which is the southern Tolii. This place, Tolii Gate, is kind of small. The Kyoto's Fushimi Inari one it is huge and there are just so many. If you never visited there, definitely I recommend you to visit there. It is a really interesting place, especially for people who grew up in foreign country. If you are not planning to visit Kyoto, but you want to take a photo with shrine, yes, there is a spot in Ueno Park too, so just remember. Oh yeah, that must be the place. I can see it from here. Oh, look at that. This is a shrine for praying for the exam. Now it's the entrance exam time for the schools. Passing the exam called Gokaku. Gokaku. This season, there are so many people coming to the shrine for praying Gokaku. Gokaku. Oh, interesting. This place looks like a tomb, huh? Oh, so many Emma. So all of them are the wishes. They write on the board. This one called Emma. And here. Pray there and touch it. Interesting. So actually we can touch it after we pray. Yeah, that's an interesting place. Speaking of the entrance exam or old exam, I really hate it when I was a student because, you know, whenever I get the exams, I get the stomachache because of I'm too nervous of it. Have you guys had that kind of feeling? So the restroom was my friend. Yeah, even now, whenever before I'm making the live stream because I'm becoming nervous, I always go to the restroom too. So that's a little secret of mine. Well, always the pressure is a great enemy. Well, have you had that kind of experience before the exam? Yeah, so before the exams, I always praying for that not having stomachache. And also, I can do the best performance. Yeah. Even now, I hate exams. <laughs> here we go, that's the place. Oh, here, another street performer. Wow, good job. Oh yeah, that must be the place. Since it's Sunday, I was thinking to make the live stream. But I believe there is a copyrighted music and the probably waiting time will be so long. So that's why I made an edited video. If you prefer the live stream compared to the edited video, please let me know in the comment. So that maybe I can consider next time I can make the live stream. So here we go. Finally, we got here. Oh my goodness. From here already smells so good. There are so many food stalls, but seems like not that long line. Let's find something yummy. Seems like this store is popular. What is hell? Oh, it's Tengxin, which is a dim sum. Oh, that's a oden and a sake. This place, meat onigiri and a beef tang. In the center. There is an artist performing. <laughs> nice. That's the Shaotao shop. And it's a skewer. They have the Xinjiang style lamb skewer. Two for 500 Japanese yen? Seems like pretty good. Why not? Let's try it. Well, unfortunately, I wanted to try the spicy rum, but uh, now they don't have it temporary. After an hour, they will get one, so maybe we can come back later. 
Maybe we can find something else instead. Oh, here they sell the ayu fish. Looks pretty good. That's the karaage. But since we're in a Chinese New Year festival, I want to eat some Chinese food. They sell mochi and also miso soup with mochi. Oh, maybe that area for the Chinese food. What is that? Old style Beijing something. I believe it is interesting. I can't read those Chinese characters, but I can understand from the Chinese characters and also <laughs> from the picture too. Well, I have no idea what it is, but yeah, it does look like a Chinese food, so why not? Let's try it. So the price is 100 Japanese yen. They had the spicy one and the regular one. Since it's not that spicy, they told me, so I try to order the spicy one. Let's do it. All right, sweet, that's mine. Since I'm not really good at sarantros, I order without sarantros. Ah, looks pretty good. Hi, sensei, hi, tamas, itadakimasu. All right, sweet. Hope it's not that spicy though. Let's find a place to eat. Oh my goodness, smells really good. Try something that I've never tried. Yep, interesting experience. Oh my goodness, smells pretty good. I was starving. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's so It does look like spicy, but it's not that much. There's the intestine and also the bean sprout. Mm. Well, since it's an intestine, it is chewy. However, it doesn't have the smell of the intestine. As you guys know, intestine kind of has the strong organ smell, but this one doesn't have the organ smell. I'm loving it. Mm. Yeah, definitely. This is a very good choice for the first food. Yeah, maybe today is my lucky day. Mm. Well, I have no idea what it is, but uh, that kind of like dashi flavor, which is a Chinese special one, which Japanese we never use. I love this flavor. Sometimes when I eat the Chinese food, I found this flavor. Well, you guys have an idea what it is? If you know, please let me know in the comment. Yeah. Boy. Mm. It is a little bit salty compared to the dashi. Got nice flavor. Oh wait, is it the fish sauce? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but I really like it. Mm. Ooh, thinking about the price, it was pretty good. Uh, oh my goodness, in here. Well, I've been hearing so much Chinese language. I feel like I'm in China now. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Oh, here too. They have the lamb skewers, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like Chinese street food. Eh? Why not? Let's try it here instead. Oh, you know what? I just realized they have the crawfish too, huh? All right, here we go. So I got the each skewers. This one, I believe, uh, I'm not sure which one is the lamb and which one is the beef. Anyways, itadakimasu. <laughs> Mmm, it's so good. Nice spice with the, the total different compared to the Japanese yakitori, which is the skewers with salt taste. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Eating lamb is not that popular in Japan, and uh, yeah, I believe this one is lamb. Mmm, it's so good. So how about this one? This must be beef. And this one also looks spicy too. Itadakimasu. Gyoza. Gyoza no. Well, it does look like spicy, but actually it's not that spicy at all. Yeah. You know, the soup before I eat, that one too, 
it that looks like super spicy but actually it's not which is really good for me because i love spicy food but my stomach cannot handle the spicy food so yeah loving it mm. let's see what else we have Oh, what is that way new dung farm? Beef and egg bowl? It sounds interesting. Oh, look at that. They have the roasted drumstick with char shoe sauce. It sounds great. Why not? Let's try it. Since the skewer, it was spicy. Now, I feel like I want something sweet. So that char shoe sauce with roasted drumsticks will be perfect. And it sounds like it's easy to eat though. Let's do it. Oh, sweet. Well, I was imagining the crispy one. Looks a little bit different, but uh, must be mechaoshi. Let's do it. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Oh. oh my goodness. It must be good and it smells pretty good too. Well, oh my goodness, it is hard to eat. Probably I'd better use my hand. <laughs> yeah, this way much easier. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, I dropped it. <laughs> Well, since I don't want to bother people, so I was eating the food at the corner. <laughs> that's why, yeah, I dropped it, but that's okay, you know, shogunai. Oh, look at that. Those are the sake from Fukushima Prefecture helping the noto. All the sales going for the donation to the recent earthquake. Why not? Let's do it. Sweet. As you guys know, there is a big earthquake in Ishikawa Prefecture at the Noto Peninsula on January 1st. Well, it's a really cold time and even now there are many people suffering because of the earthquake. So, well, unfortunately I couldn't do much, but uh, you know, drinking sake helps the people. <laughs> that sounds great. Excuse me. Well, I don't know in this situation, I, can I smile? Well, you know, Japanese culture, whenever I talk about something not that good situation, I shouldn't smile. Well, anyways, so this small donation goes for the Noto and the uh, Kanpai for that. Oh, I'm loving it. Yeah, it is a little bit spicy, but mild sake, so hopefully people suffered by the earthquake can have the peaceful life. Well, that doesn't look like a Chinese music house, but it's really part of the whole thing. Well, it's like that's a really popular group. Lovely. It's almost time of the sunset, but seems like more and more people are coming, maybe for the dinner time. Oh, you know what? Maybe because the Ueno Zoo is almost the closing time so that's why there are so many people getting out from the Ueno Zoo and the directory going to the I don't have this festival oh, no, you only did that. so this is the entrance of Ueno Zoo look at that wow I didn't see the line but uh, I assume there were just so many people and uh, we had to wait for a very long time until we enter Ueno Toshogun now have the peony garden. Haven't visited Ueno Toshogun for a while. Let's go check there. Oh, you know what? It's already closed. They close at 4 30. Right now it's 4 38. So, yeah. Eight minutes before they closed. Well, maybe we can see a little bit from here. <laughs> How is it? Are you hearing the music? Yes, this means they are closing. 
It is a popular song in Japan. Since we are kids, we are hearing that music. So, yeah. Everyone understands it. Whenever we hear that music, this place is closing. Wow, it is a beautiful shrine. It, it's built in 1627, memory for one of the shogun in Edo period. You can check inside as well. However, you can go check inside, but you can't see inside the main building because it is a sacred place for them. There are many Toshogun in Japan. It is a shrine, mainly praying for the one of the Shogun in Edo period. And this is one. Also, I think Nikko Toshogun is also the popular one too. Here too, so many Emma, but this place, the Emma, is different from that Emma. It is the Shogun picture. This place also closing at 4.30, however, seems like they are still accepting the people to enter. Oh, look at the pole. Have you guys seen my Toyos video? There is a new Toyos food street over there. And uh, when I see the building, I explain about this sticker, right? And uh, there are all old stickers. Yeah, seems like it's almost gone. Pretty much all of them. But uh, there is kind of like a tradition we have. So that uh, new Toyos place also, it will be like this in the future. Oh, look at that. Uh, now is almost the season for Umeha, which is the plum. There is a beautiful plum garden in Osaka Castle. Must be beautiful over there now. Outside it's getting dark. Many people are going back home. There is a small lantern. In the night time, this becomes beautiful. We came back to the shrine. So let's go to check this street too. This street still, it's super crowded. Since there are so many people, I believe those food stall had a really good time. You know what I mean. As a merchant, I mean. <laughs> this place also, compared to the regular days, I've been hearing so many Chinese languages. I believe because the national holiday in China, there are just so many travelers from China now. So this is the map of Ueno. Do you guys remember that this place, the Kiyomizu Kannondo? This is the place that we see the pine tree. And uh, we're over here. Also, we are at the Ueno Daibutsu, the face place that we can touch. And uh, Ueno Toshogun. Ueno Park is a huge park and there are so many shrines. If you love temple and shrine, it is a really fun place and an interesting place to visit. The town getting darker and changing to the night town. Speaking of the sunset time, today's sunset time is 5.17. Do you guys remember in January, it was like 4.30 the sunset time, but now it became 5.17. It becomes longer and longer. Since I usually start moving slow, you know, I'm a night owl. So in the winter time, feels like time flies. But uh, yes, finally, the summer is coming and the sunset time becomes longer and longer. In middle of summer, it becomes like 7.30. So that means we have longer day. That's also one of the reasons why I love summer. Since we don't have summer time, they like saving time in Japan. So yeah, it is really important for me. Let's get something to drink. All right, sweet. Today it's hot latte, the large size. In Family Mart, the large size hot latte, only 220 Japanese yen. Good deal. It is almost like the vending machine place but the taste better. Sweet. Drinking warm coffee, I mean warm latte. 
in the winter. It's one of the most fun thing to do. I'm wondering how the Amayoko looks like in the night time now. Probably there are so many people still. Let's go to check. It is still 5.30, but already totally dark. And town lighted up. <laughs> Fewer people compared to the daytime. However, there are many drinking places in Ameyoko Street. So probably there will be more and more in this street. Yeah, since there are much fewer people, now I can easily walk in, in Amiyoko Street with drinking coffee. <sighs> Loving it. Oh, never mind it. Yeah, still. In the main street, it is super crowded. Well, I think we can see enough crowdedness from here. I was expecting so many people in the street, but uh, it was much more than what I expected. There are just too many people. Even compared to the New Year Day, which is January 1st, more people. <laughs> it is interesting. Anyways, hopefully you feel like virtual travel to Japan through this video and uh, this video will help for your next Japan trip. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos and please do me a big favor. I know many of you haven't subscribed but watching this video. My goal of 2024 hitting 200,000 subscribers. Yes, still it's a long way to go so if you haven't Please hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss my new video in the Surprise Up stream. Also, it will really help me out. Arigato! Big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. See no go. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Oh. Yeah, speaking of the food. The Chinese food that I ate today, that intestine one, which is the spicy one, it was pretty good. I don't know what kind of ingredients it is. It might be the fish sauce, I don't know. But uh, that kind of style Chinese food has the really unique flavor, which Japanese food never had one. And uh, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, again, if you know what kind of ingredient it is, please let me know in the comment. I will check it and I will really appreciate it. And I will try to cook with that, whatever it is, that ingredients. Yeah, is it the fish sauce? I know it's not the oyster sauce. But anyways, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Sorry, the kids are shouting. <laughs> anyways, but I really enjoyed that. So see you soon in the next video.